Hey guys, how's it going? I'm so excited because today I'm at Leica Studios and we're getting a behind the scenes 360 tour of their studio to show you guys how they made their new film, Kubo and the Two Strings. So I am going to be meeting with one of their animators right now so they can give you a little more detail on how they made this because it is awesome. Hey! Right now. Hi, I'm Brad. Are how are I'm you? Justine. Nice hi, to Justine. Meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm the animation supervisor here. And these are our friends on the internet. Oh, hi, everybody. And we're going to take them on a really fun tour. Sweet. You're going to have fun. So this is uh, Kubo's village. This is where he spends his days putting on shows with his magic, playing his shamisen. Everything is so little and so cute. Like, guys, this is everything is real, too. Like, this, look at this. Like, they're so little, like everything looks real, but just super, super small. Wow. So this is the burned version of the village that we just saw. That's right. This is my favorite set in the whole movie. Maybe wow. of any film that we've ever done at Leica. It's so crazy. I mean, everything just is, it's burnt to a crisp. I know, it's the attention to detail is unbelievable, and none of it is burned. It's none of it, this is actually not burned? Yeah, nothing was actually burned. It's all hand-carved, hand hand-painted, to look like it's burned. And it's really scary. Scary, you think this is scary? Why don't I take you to meet our giant skeleton? Oh my gosh, here's the skeleton! This is our big guy. He's so much bigger than I thought. I mean, everything else that we've seen here has been scaled down significantly. Oh my gosh, he's moving! So you can get finite <laughs> movement with these little dials of the torso, and then the hand, the shoulder, the arms, hand, head, jaw, eyes, are all done by hand by a stop motion animator. Well, but in the movie, I mean, he was moving a lot, and I feel like you guys had like crazy camera angles too. I mean, how do you guys actually shoot this? Like, what do you film it on? Well, we shoot it on a Canon 5D Mark III. Oh, wow. And it's just a regular still camera, as you know. Yeah. And we shoot RAWs and it's attached to a motion control rig. And basically what that does, it allows you to program a dynamic camera move and it breaks it down frame by frame. So as you incrementally sh you know, move the puppet, it incrementally moves the camera. So when you're done and you create life with the, ca with the puppet, you've also created life with the camera. There's so much that goes into this. I mean, you guys have to be <laughs> so detail-oriented and organized. That's why I'm not here. <laughs> This is so great. I love it. So in here, we have Kubo's boat. Boats. Boats, so right. He's, he's got two boats here, but in the movie, he's only got one. He does. Well, Kubo conjures up with his magic. He builds this boat out of leaves so they can cross the Lost Lake to get to their next part of the quest. And we have multiple boats because it's in two different sequences, and we have to have an animator on each boat, so it has to be in two places at the same time, so we build extras. And you've got the sail and every little tiny piece. Like, these are all individual leaves. Yeah, each boat has 250,000 laser-cut leaves. And this boat is on a duopod, so you'll see those two actuators there, those two pistons. That's to work with the simulation of the water that we do in visual effects and it'll give uh, the ambient boat movement. And it only has two, because it's for the calm water. And then we have another hexapod, which is really comparable to what you saw with the giant skeleton, yeah. that we have for the really choppy water. Wow, so that's where the other boat is. <laughs> and this is our sea creature in the Garden of Eyes. Whoa! He is crazy! Isn't he cool? Oh my gosh! <laughs> He's looking at me! And you're controlling it basically with this like bowling ball contraption? Yeah, it's like this giant, it's a giant trackball. It's like, wow. um, I would say it's, it's centipede on steroids. Yeah. And, you know, building something this big, like the skeleton, poses its own problems. And, you know, this one's underwater, so it has to have such finite movement. And, you know, how the heck are we gonna do that? All right, so I can right. actually control this? Yeah, do it. Are you sure? Yeah, of course. Okay. Oh my goodness, look at it. And this is our cemetery. Wow. It looks just like in the movie, except miniature. It's just insane being able to see this here, knowing what I saw in the movie, because I never would have expected that anything, this entire day that you've showed me, ends up being in the movie. 
So thank you so much for this tour. You're very welcome. This was so great. Thanks for coming. And thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed this tour because this is something that not a lot of people get the chance to see. So when you guys go see the movie on August 19th, you can tell your friends, hey, I know how that happened. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye, Kubo.